Welcome back, first grade readers. I hope you enjoyed your time yesterday reading your stories and then finding if you could find any life lessons. But I want to tell you, you don't always need to find those lessons at the end. Okay? Did you know that you can predict the lesson right from the start? So that's exactly where we're going to start off today. With yesterday, I introduced our new anchor chart with Readers Learn Lessons. And we learned that we reread the ending and think, how did the trouble get fixed? We also think, what did the character realize or learn? And today, our main focusing is predict the lesson right from the start. So you can also think about them when you start reading a new book. You can try to predict what the lesson will be even before you start to read, thinking right from the start. I wonder if this is going to be one of the stories that teaches you blank, okay? So let's try this work I've been talking about. I'll tell you a bit about, a, a bit about just the beginning of a story, and you will listen, think, and wonder if this is going to be one of the stories that teaches you. Okay, so this is an example right here. I wonder if this is going to be one of the stories that teaches you. And the first example I have here is called Curious George Gets a Medal. Now, this whole story is about Curious George's friend is gone and the monkey sees a letter arriving for him, which makes Curious George very curious. What's it like to write a letter? He gets into the friend's ink, which creates a big, huge mess. So the monkey brings the garden hose and other things, but only makes matters worse. Hmm, he makes a big mess. So I wonder if this is gonna be one of the stories that teaches you not to get in trouble, to do as you're told, and to not make things worse and worse. Okay, so maybe that would be a good prediction of a life lesson that we can learn from that book. Okay, let's try another one. This is the, the title of this story is called The Tenth Good Thing About Barney. Okay, so this is a story about a boy and his cat Barney who actually died. And his mother said he should think of 10 good things to say about the cat at the cat's funeral. But he only thought of nine. You know, I'm not gonna tell you the rest of the story because it's a really good read. But my point is that you don't need to read the whole story before you begin to think about the life lessons. It might be teaching it. So I want you to think. I wonder if this is going to be one of the stories that teaches you maybe about how to deal with losing things, how to feel better when people or pets unfortunately pass away. And some of you might think it's a story about how things live on in your mind, even though they're already gone. Okay, so today what I want you to do, I do want you to remember that you don't need to wait until the end of the book to think about life lessons. You can start thinking about what the story might teach you right from the start. As you read, you can think, I wonder if this is gonna be one of those stories that teaches you, then you can keep those idea with you as you keep reading on, okay? So you probably need to choose a new book today, okay? And maybe you can think of a life lesson that this book will teach you, maybe from the title. Maybe it's from the illustration on the front cover. Maybe you'll need to read a couple pages first to get that idea. So try to practice that today with a brand new book and always think, I wonder if this is going to be one of the stories that teaches you fill in the blank. So that's what I want you to practice today. So good luck. Choose a brand new book and happy reading. We'll see you tomorrow.